Hello everyone, I'm the Ninja Turkey, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. Uh, yeah, so last time we met Mr. Mustafa and learned a bunch of cool secrets, and now we're gonna go do things. Oh hey, it's the quiz guy. Let's talk to him. Co-wiz, it's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Sure I do. See if we can get it this this time. Last time I feel like was kind of easy. Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? Yellow. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Yay, correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. Awesome. You've correctly answered two questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well. So long, farewell, till we meet again. I wonder if those questions will get any harder, because these first two have been pretty darn easy, although I guess I remember I kind of guessed the first one. Alright, so there's three things I want to do in Dry Dry Ruins here. Uh, the first being I... Uh, I want to... I, I, I kind of doubt it's going to do anything, but... Um, oh, hey, that's the, the stone flashing, I guess. Um, oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. Crap, we're lost now. Um, I want to find uh, Professor Colorado and uh, see if... See if... Uh, if we can tell him where Dry Dry Outpost or Ruins is. And I don't... I uh, guess it's easy enough to find the path. I uh, don't think it'll do anything special, but just in case, I want to see. Oh, and I want to do the secret past this stone thing, the three south, two west thing, and then I want to find Dry Dry Ruins. I don't know if we're going to be able to do all that in one episode, but we'll uh, we'll find out. I, I seriously doubt that going to Professor Colorado and telling him where how to find Dry Dry Ruins will do anything, but you never know with this game, so. <laughs> you know, time and again, my mind returns to the image of the ruins hiding in the desert. It haunts me. I can't sleep. I am, quite simply, destined to be the one to find them. Uh, actually, you're not, because apparently I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> you know, just because Mustafa said I couldn't tell anyone made me want to see if I could tell Colorado, but I guess not. So, we're gonna go to the, uh, we're gonna go to the stone cactus thing first and do, do that whole thing. Which is right here. So, uh, here, let me look, load up the note on my phone here. Uh, okay, so three south, two west, and that thing is way too close. I do not want to get sucked up by that. All right, so we have to go... So this is the first time going south. There's a real cactus and a question block with a coin in it. So one south, two south. Uh, should we fight? Uh... I really don't feel like fighting right now, so we're just... Plus, there's three of them. Okay, so this is three south. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, now, two west. West is this way. You know what? Actually, I haven't fought in a while, so I, I need to get star points. And we haven't fought pokies before, so this should be interesting. I don't know how much HP they have. I guess we'll find out. I think Koops is probably a good, uh, good partner to use against these guys. Oh shit. <laughs> so he can, so, okay, so the, the Pokey behind him can, like, bring his friend back, so I basically have to kill them both at the same time? Or maybe... Huh, well, all Mario can really do is hammer, so here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hammer, and then I'm gonna have Koops use Power Shell, and maybe that'll do something. Or maybe I'm supposed to take care of the first one first. Or maybe he can only... Okay, so he didn't revive his friend that time, so maybe he can only revive his friend when he's, like, at full height. I'm guessing that's the case. Yay, star points. I'd like to get more FP, because 10 FP really isn't a lot. Uh, just trying to get these coins before I fight him. Okay. <laughs> oh god, that's a lot. Um, okay, Coop, or Coops, yeah. You're gonna have to just do this. And, uh, I guess all Mario can do right now is just normal hammer. I'm not quite sure how to... 
how to block these guys yet. The thing is with this game and action commands is I feel like it's it's a little bit harder to like get it right, you know? Like I've mentioned that before, but like especially with uh, enemies attacking you, it's just they, I don't know. It seems like it's a lot harder to block correctly, if you know what I mean. But you know, it, it's fine. Yeah, those pokies really take uh, dried fruit. 15 HP, god damn. Okay, well we're getting rid of... Uh, we're getting rid of this, so we can have that, because that's a lot of HP. Um, yeah, what, what is it again? Re yeah, just, okay, it just restores 15 HP. That's really good. I'm, I'm holding on to that. Uh, I'm going to eat these. I mean, they only restore 1 HP, but might as well. Plus, then they, uh, then they get cleared from my uh, inventory, and I can pick up more stuff. I guess now that I've eaten those, I might as well take this back, even though it only does... I'm, I'm assuming it only does, like, one damage. Okay, so we've gone south three times, uh, so we need to go west twice, and west is this way. Yeah, I, I'm gonna kind of avoid the pokies for now, because they they take a lot of effort to kill. Okay, so that was... this was That should have been our second time going west, right? I'm, I'm assuming. So... So what? <laughs> Unless I did it wrong, I, I don't know. Uh, does it have something to do with the? Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, that's cool. So that must have been it. Attack effects. Uh, C badge changes the sound effects when Mario's attacking. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what? What sound effect does it make? Um, I guess let's find out. Uh. That's an interesting sound. Ooh, ooh. I guess it's like supposed to be the sound of someone getting hit or something. Oh, whatever. We'll keep it on. It's cool. Um, anything this way? No. Uh, okay, so... As you can see, this place is big. Um, it's, it's really big. There's a lot of screens. Uh, there could be any number of secrets hidden in here, but... Honestly, I'm just concerned with finding Dry Jar Ruins, and I'm pretty sure Dry Jar Ruins is up this way. So, uh, yeah, that, that's what we're going to focus our attention on now. I don't know if it's random. I don't think it is, because I think every time I've played through this section, it's been, like, up a little bit. So it's... Okay, it's blinking a little faster now, so I guess that's a good sign. You know what? As long as we're here, they're, they might steal my coins, but I'm going to fight a shy guy just to, uh, just to show it off, I guess. Um, so... Let, I guess I'll just jump on him. <laughs> that sound effect, though. And we're gonna make sure we attack the uh, pokey to make sure he doesn't spawn any more pokies. Yeah, he stole my coins. God, I need to really get better at blocking moves, or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna have a hard time with this game. I've got the attacking action commands down pretty good, but it's blocking that I can't quite seem to get. And uh, Zex the Crow, uh, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's, that's his YouTube name, uh, Zex the Crow, which, hi, by the way, <laughs> um, he, he said in the comments that it could be because I'm playing on an HD TV, and I, I, I think my TV's HD, I guess it's flat screen, so it must be, it, it's a pretty small TV, it's like, I don't know, 20, 30 inches, it's not that big at all, um, so it, it uh, certainly doesn't necessarily qualify as a very high-quality TV, but I guess it must be HD because it has HDMI, so that could be my problem, but... Oh my, oh man, that's really flashing. Uh, but it's the only TV I have, so I don't really have the option of changing it. This must be where we put it. That didn't take us that long. Didn't even take us a whole episode. I thought it might. But yeah, it's the only TV I have, so I can't really do anything about it, so I'll just have to get used to it. I mean, I guess I have another TV, kinda, but it's at my my dad's house in Denver, uh, and it's his TV, so it's not really mine. But I mean, that's the other TV I use when I'm in Denver, and I'm not right now, so <laughs> uh, I, I I only have my crappy 30 inch TV when I am at am at school. But hey, I mean, this even this 30 inch TV cost like $200 when I bought it, so like TVs are expensive. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> 
But yeah, there's there's dry dry ruins. Just came out of the ground for whatever reason. I didn't even comment about how the pe- all the people were freaking out. Reminds me a bit of uh, the ending of uh, the Thousand Year Door. You know, not to, I, I won't spoil anything in case anyone hasn't played it, but uh, just just something about it about that scene that just played just now reminds me of it. I'm looking for a save block. I don't see one. There might be one inside though. All right, here we go. If you've played Thousand Year Door, you might know what I'm talking about. Blag Blorg. I'm the huge, scary Tutsun Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of sands? Speak and be known. It's, it's me, Mario. Beyond from this place, now, or disaster will befall you. Spooky. Well, I need the star spirit, Tutsun Koopa, so I'm coming in whether you want me to or not. Okay. That is a poison pokey. Well, I'm gonna... Oh, I did not mean to leave. I'm gonna fight him because there's a healing block just outside. Poison pokies are, like, a lot harder, though, because they poison you. Uh, yeah. You know, it's kind of my, my, like, policy, I guess, to fight as many enemies as possible, uh, just because, uh, you know, then you get more star points and you level up faster. I wasn't doing that before, but, uh, I, um... Oh, I didn't get poisoned. I thought they poisoned you every hit, but I guess it's like a chance or something to uh, get poisoned. Uh, I wasn't doing that before, but in, in here I'll fight as like as many enemies as I can just so I level up. Because I'm probably going to need more FP for the fight against Tut and Koopa, so... Yeah. Or is it Tutan Koopa? I don't know. Tasty Tonic. A very tasty tonic. Cures poisoning and shrinking. It's probably a good thing to have in this place, because I imagine there's going to be more Poison Koopa, or Poison Pokies. Alright, let's have Koops attack first. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it, but it's really the only way I have to uh, hit the, the back enemy uh, before, you know, before he can spawn any more. Because I'm assuming as long as they're full height, they can spawn as many pokies as they want. So, okay, now I'm poisoned. My HP is going down. Well, that sucks. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using a lot of FP in this place, <laughs> depending on how many poison pokies there are. And I'm probably going to be going back to that healing block a lot. Which I'm going to do now, because I'm low on FP and stuff. <coughs> Man, my voice kind of hurts. Maybe it's because I've been talking. Wait, what's this? Spike shield badge. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to put that on once I have enough BP. I probably don't right now, because it probably has, uh, probably takes a bunch. Where is it? I passed it. Two. Oh, that's not much at all. Actually, I'm going to get rid of power bounce. Uh, cause I don't really know how to do the action command for that. I'll put on power bounce again later, cause it could be useful once I get the action command down. Uh, but spike shield is much more useful, so we're gonna put that on. Um, that's a, that's really early to get that. I, I don't think we get that until much later in Thousand Year Door. But, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I feel kinda sick. Or at least my voice, my voice is kinda sore. Maybe it's just cause I've been talking for a while, but, like, man. I hope I'm not getting sick. That would suck. Um... Yeah, guess we might as well save. I feel like, you know, it would have been a good pl a good place to end the episode. I already fought you. I'm, I'm not going to deal with that. But I haven't fought you, so... <laughs> um, okay, so now I, now that I have Spike Shield, I can uh, do this. Although there's three of them, so I should probably have Koops take care of them anyway. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, just so they can't spawn anymore. Um, I, I feel like, you know... Having, uh... Yeah, Spike Shield. Awesome. We can jump on spiked enemies. I love that badge. It's it's really awesome. Um... There we go. I got it. Um, the, the block. What was I saying? <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought. Oh, I screwed that up. Um... Oh, yeah, I was saying I feel like, you know, the start of this, like, dungeon, I guess, would have been a good place to end the episode, but I'm only, like, what not even 15 minutes in, so I, I don't see the point of that. You know, I also haven't played this game for a little while. It's probably been, like, over a week at this point, so uh, that's that probably explains partly why um, I'm not quite getting the action commands like I'd like. Alright, there's a key up here, or a lock up here. We don't have a key, so... There's a key. Are we gonna just... We're, we can just grab it? Really? Okay. I figured, I thought something was gonna, like, stop us from getting that, but I guess not. 
But, you know, even though uh, we're not quite at the 20 minutes I like to end the episode on, we can just get a little, we can get a ways in here and then uh, end it later. Um, so I guess I just have to stand on this. Let me take a drink here. Maybe that'll help my uh, my voice. I have Arizona tea here. It's freaking delicious. I don't know if anyone watching is, has drank Arizona tea before, but like, goddamn, it's like my favorite drink. It's a little sugary. It's not exactly healthy, but it, you know, it's better than like, say, soda or something. <laughs> so there's that. Fool, you have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool. Are you Excalibur? <laughs> I don't know if anyone gets that reference. It's from Soul Eater. Um, you will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands. Cool story, bro. Uh, so from here, we have a lot of different ways we can go. You know, it's a little early, um, but we're, we're only at like, I don't know, 16 minutes, if even that. But I uh, I really want to give like a full episode to... Uh, I really want to be able to, like, donate, like, a full 20 minutes to searching this place rather than, like, tacking, tacking a bunch on at the end here. So I'm just going to heal up here and then save and then one the episode. It'll be a little bit of a shorter episode, but that's okay. Oh, I was not paying attention. Um, you know, every episode doesn't have to be exactly 20 minutes. It can be a little shorter or a little longer. But, again, I feel like that's a nice round number, so I like to end it at about 20 minutes when I can, but, but yeah, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, next time we will explore the rest of Dry Dry Ruins, maybe the whole thing, maybe not, I don't know.